I am Deer Man, like Dar Man, but Deer Man. And today, I am going to be reviewing the Jemmy quote unquote life size Buck the Singing Animated Trophy slash Singing Deer Head, whatever you want to call it. I call it Fuck the Singing Deer. This came out in 2005. I believe it was sold at Menards. I don't know when it was sold because it wasn't like a, a holiday item of any kind. There was, of course, the Christmas version of it, which is insanely rare, holy shit but this is the standard version. I think it was sold at Menards and possibly a couple other places, but at the very least I know it was sold at Menards. Now, this thing, I had been wanting it since I was like eight, and I got it last year, and it has such an interesting story. So I went to Arkansas with one of my friends and stayed at his uh, grandparents' house. And during that, there was like this kind of like retro antique store type thing they had a buck on display it was sitting on the wall and I actually creamed my jimmies because that was the first time I'd ever seen it in real life and then I uh, asked the owner of the shop who was the nicest dude I loved him if, if I could buy it and then he was like yeah we got like three more in the back and then I went I, I went to the we went to the storage shed behind the store and there were three of these new in the box just sitting in there so we pulled this one out me and one of his employees we tested it tested everything made sure it worked and then I bought it for the steal of hundred and eighty dollars which doesn't sound very good but it's actually really good compared to how much these go for now even though it was new in the box, unfortunately not everything works on it. Everything except for the side to side movement works because that's usually the first thing that breaks on these. I don't know why the side to side movement is awful. <laughs> the, the gear on mine is completely split. Whenever it tries to move you can hear the motor running really loud. But other than that I'm more than happy with it and I really don't care about that working. I had to uh, actually sit him on my lap because we were we went there in a very small car so I didn't have any place to put the box in the back of the car which I still have the box of course so I just had to sit him on my lap for the entire nine hour drive it was hell but it was worth it since he was new in the box I got everything with him I got the microphone which I now have two of those Jemmy microphones I'll grab one of them actually yeah, here it is. I don't know if this is the one that came with uh, Buck or my microphone spirit ball, but I have two, regardless. And, and, the original remote. Now this is weirdly rare. For some reason, nobody has these things. And since he was new in the box, of course, I got it. It, it works, obviously. And fun fact, it actually works with the microphone spirit balls as well. And so I would assume that anything that's made by Jemmy that has a remote, this one will work on it. Which is intriguing. That also means that the Spirit Ball remote will work on a buck. As you can see, it has a bunch of little commands on it. It has, uh, you can just... Yeah, there's the up and down movement. The left and right is, as I stated, very broken. A uh, button that makes the ears move. And then you can make it sing one song or all of the songs. And yeah, it's a really classy looking remote actually. Other than that, I also have the original auxiliary cord that came with him for, you know, plugging in your iPod or something. And yeah, he was still in the plastic wrap. And I've had him on display on my wall ever since. I love him. He's probably one of my favorite pieces to be honest. And he still fully works. So I'm going to turn up the volume a bit and then show you. Oh yeah, he also has a motion sensor. Cause, you know, Big Moth Billy Bass also had one, so. All right, volume's all the way up. The speaker's not great because, you know, 2005, but regardless, it works. Okay, you move them on and I'll head them up. Get it? Head up like up a wall. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
He sings a bunch of songs, and between each song, he has a phrase. He actually has two phrases for each song, because if you run through all the songs and then do it again, he'll say a different phrase before each song. I am not going to show all of the phrases. I'm <laughs> I'm not going to show all the songs. It's uh, Rawhide, The Road Again, Suspicious Minds, I believe LaGrange, and is that it? There might be another one. Let me check. Like a band of gypsies, we went down the highway. Obviously, that was a mistake. Yeah, there's the second phrase. Everything's all right. Just say good night, and I'll show myself to the door. Could could somebody help me down? You never hear oh, this song. Me complain, cause I got friends in Yeah, that buzzing is once again the side-to-side uh, -side mechanism trying to work. And actually, he has a he runs on 9 volts, but he has a large power box. That's it right there. Uh, the actual plug that goes into the wall is on one side, and then the other side plugs into Buck. But he takes, I think, maybe like a few more amps than the standard 9 volts. I could be wrong, though. Yeah, thankfully none of the gears have split besides the side-to-side -side movement, which I don't care about at all. The up-and-down movement is actually string-controlled, which I hadn't known that until somewhat recently. I always thought it was a gearbox mechanism, but no, there's a comically large spr uh, string that goes down his neck, and then there's a motor, probably down or out, about right there, that pulls the entire head down. He is very well-built, honestly. He uh, The latex on these... I don't think it's latex, I think it's more of that, that vinyl material that like Seasonal Visions uses, but it doesn't really dry rot much, like it doesn't have the same problem with uh, Lucky Tom the Talking Turkey or Deadlift Zombie or things like that where it just dry rots completely. Uh, it's pretty good. I haven't really seen many of these uh, have significant dry rot on the latex. The antlers are uh, optional. You can take this, those off if you want to. I have a bunch of hair ties on them right now. Uh, that's where I keep all of my hair ties because it's convenient. Great animatronic. I love him. He's old as piss, but he still works really well. And I'd recommend trying to get one if you can. I mean, they're a little expensive, but they're doable. You can get them. And they last a while, too. They're not ones that will break very much other than of course the side to side mechanism and I've seen the mouth gears split on a couple of them but regardless you get my point these are pretty durable animatronics anyway I think that's about it so see you next time on uh, Deer Man where I show you I, I teach you a life lesson of uh, Deer cheats on girlfriend and instantly regrets it <laughs>